big moment of realisation <laughs> for all of us, wasn't it? Uh, Shambrook is here with us now. Lovely to see you. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, take us back to when you first sort of got a call about Sherlock. Um, you know, because it, it, it has been very successful over the years, hasn't it? What yeah, was, what immensely, did you think? immensely. Um, oh, way back in, I think it must have been March, April time, I had a call saying that they'd like to meet you for a part in Sherlock. And in my head, I thought, oh, that'd be nice. Nice little cameo part. And... Um, <laughs> I came in and they gave me two scenes with two separate characters and I thought, oh, well, maybe they want to see me for both characters. Mm -hmm. um, and then I came back and had another meeting and another character was added and I sort of twigged that something might be um, awry and, uh, and yeah, and then thankfully it went my way. But I didn't know yes. um, the full extent of what the character was um, until I got the part, but yeah. And obviously, you, you were a fan of Sherlock beforehand, and you know how oh, much yeah. it means to, to, to Absolutely. people. Absolutely. I mean, I've been, as most of the nation have been, gripped by Sherlock for since it started. It's just um, phenomenal writing. It's a brilliant piece of work. And so when they came, when they said that I'd got this part, I was blown away. It was a dream role for tell many reasons about, yes yes i uh, tell us about i mean presumably high levels of secrecy surround a role oh like yes that. yes i mean i had to sign my life away from uh, the start as soon as i accepted it i couldn't tell anybody <laughs> that i was doing it apart yes. from obviously my family because i had to tell them i was disappearing to cardiff for yeah, exactly. weeks on end but yeah so i've had to um people were wondering where i was going and so i'd be saying oh yes i'm just doing a crime drama for the bbc it's just a, well what is it oh it's just a new thing what's it called it hasn't been named and <laughs> oh my goodness yeah, who's in it oh nobody you'd know <laughs> no not at all yeah now you, you we're going to show a clip from okay. last night's episode yeah. now it doesn't give anything away you you close your eyes if you want to do the same at home this is the moment that you meet sherlock it doesn't give any of the storyline away don't panic anybody but we're just going to show you sure. a bit from last night's episode have a look can open your eyes now <laughs> and stop your ears. Um, what's it like getting into a character who's so sinister and, and does some terrible things which you can't talk about? Um, it's a joy as an actor to be able to play a part like that. It's so, well, hopefully far removed from myself. Yeah, I hope so. Um, so, yeah, it's a joy, but it's also quite um, a challenge because I think... As an actor, you try to approach things. You, you were, you know, you're quite in touch with your emotions, and yet I was playing somebody who's void of any emotion. So and coming into a really well-established mm. show where everyone knows those characters, mm. you know, Sherlock and Mycroft and, and Doctor Watson as well. And you are this character who really you're the only person that those two brothers fear. You know, that's yeah. which is strange, isn't it? Because normally they're so confident in what they do. Yeah, and I think that was, you know, as an, as, again, as an actor, it's brilliant to be able to play a part like that. I mean, I don't think that she's the only character that they fear, but I think probably because she's family, the fear is greater because, you know, they're mm. related and they know their flaws, and she probably knows their flaws as well. But um, um, And tell me, um, obviously, you've worked with Benedict before, haven't you? I have, yes. Right, so... I, was, I played um, Ophelia when, um, in Hamlet two years ago, so I had the pleasure of working with him again. Which is great, and that's got to be quite reassuring as well when you're coming. Oh yeah, I think set, you know, everybody knows everybody there, don't they? So yeah, it's a huge series. It's been so successful and so popular, and I myself have been such a fan. There's a lot of care that goes into creating this. So, yeah. um, and the writing is so immensely, you know, they're immensely talented at what they do. So you just want to honour it, and so working with people that you already know, mm. it means there's an ease there and yes. a rapport. So it's. Um, and Sean, with all that in mind, were, were, were the cast, were those who worked on it, annoyed by this the, the leak in Russia that, that put the oh, you final can't part help. out before? Yeah, I think you can't help but find it irritating. Um, but I think it's all being investigated, you know, by the relevant people. But yeah, it's um, it's annoying. But I think the fan base is so loyal hmm. that um, they have haven't let it go further than it should. Thank you very much. I have to say, just if you haven't seen it, the DVD is out next week. Oh, don't worry, we're going to say. <laughs> Can I ask you one, one tiny little extra one? What, do you know what happens now? Can you tell anything about next series, your involvement? I anything? have no idea. I'd love there to be another series, but, you know, it's um, up to the powers that be to make that happen. OK. Thank you. I expected nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> so the DVD is out uh, and on the BBC store. And, of course, if you're like me, you haven't seen it, you can watch it on the iPlayer.
I don't know if we ruined anything there, did we? we didn't no, ruin no, anything. Well, I, I don't know. I, I've got my ears. And I, I think we've got to. I'm sure Carol's <laughs> a big Sherlock fan as well. Sean, thank you very much. Great <laughs> to talk you. to you. Thank you.